mushrooms? Glowing mushrooms? Yeah! Soggy mushrooms? Yeah! Illegal mushrooms? Totally! Alright, first stratosphere. Is that a mushroom? No. Delete the bottom half and still doesn't look like a mushroom, so add a multi-resolution modifier and increase the resolution until blender crashes. Go into sculpt mode and sculpt some bumps and other things onto the mushroom. Time to texture the thing. Go into edit mode and hit U and select unwrap. Then I'll open up this image of mushrooms I found and line up the mesh. Go into the shader editor and hit Control T to open up an image texture with mapped coordinates. If not, you can do it manually. Open up the mushroom image. Hey look, it kind of looks like a mushroom. We could do better. Add a bump node and plug it into the normal socket on the principal shader. Then plug the color of your image texture into the height socket. Adjust the strength and you can also add a color ramp for more control. Duplicate the color ramp, plug it into the roughness socket and adjust it again for more realism. Maybe give it some subsurface scattering too. Next, we need a stem. No hovering shrooms here. Use curves to give it some thickness and you can scale the stem with Alt S. Make it look like a stem. Give it a stem material, a bit of brown and some subsurface scattering. You can also do glowing mushrooms by adding an emission shader and plugging the texture into the color. You can also use it as a strength factor. Crank it up and add a hue saturation node to change the colors. Time for the background. I won't spend too much time on this since the video is mainly on mushrooms, but add a cube extruded around as your ground. Give it a multi-res modifier and sculpt some bumps. Next, UV unwrap it. You can do it the proper way with seams, but if you're lazy like me, use the cube project method. Go back to your material editing slot and get a dirt texture from somewhere. Set it up like a normal material, roughness the roughness, color the color, you know the drill. You can fake the bump, but if you're in cycles render, why not make use of all those polygons? Plug your height map into the height and change up the strength until it looks good. You might not see anything, and this is because you have to go to your material tab, settings, then change the bump from bump only to displacement and bump. This method of displacement purely relies on materials, so you won't see it in a non render viewport. For the moss, I used a hair particle system, but that's another video. For the background, just use a force HDRI, do some dust compositing, and you got mushrooms. There you go, mushrooms and blender. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can pick up the mushroom blend file on my Gumroad for free as usual. See you next time. And for those of you familiar with him, here's your daily dose of cures. Oi, so much food.